through it as fast as you can. You're not going to leave second gear. You're really not going to go faster than 80, 85k an hour, but you're going to brake, accelerate, and turn harder than anywhere else. So why do you want to come do it? Well, you're going to meet a whole bunch of people who love doing the same things you do. They're going to love cars, love driving them. You're going to build up your driving skill because suddenly you're going to get to slide all the time. You're going to see all kinds of cars, Honda Civics, Toyota Corollas, Priuses, Porsche 911s, Corvettes. It doesn't matter what you drive, as long as it's a car, come out, mco.org. here number 49 bro. Uh, yo so uh, we're lining up to do the first run of the round five autocross course yeah um a little nervous I just don't want to hit a pylon and crack my bumper uh, and also the course is a little tight so yeah see how it goes see. cool what's up dudes uh, we're in Brandon's Mazda Speed 3 it's got a couple of mods to it it's got a Mad. full exhaust a tune Dildo shift knob. Uh, <laughs> no, just kidding. Uh, so yeah, Brandon's first run. I already went on the track. My first run was very, very slow because I didn't really know where I was going. But that's okay because we're gonna be here all day. Uh, how you feeling, bro? Bro, I'm fucking scared right now. Yo, like... deep breaths. Deep breaths. You can't drive on the track first of all with your phone. Second, of... <laughs> second of all, relax. Worst case, you don't get a good time. You know. Nine, 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 nine is on the line. <laughs> <laughs> Number nine 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 nine. Right, 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 right. right, right. Around the right side of this one and then left. <laughs> right, right, a little bit, a little bit. Okay, then left, right, 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 then left, right, 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 sorry. Left, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that was messy. Sorry if my directions are poor. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun! <laughs> Dude. I, I need to stay in a second. Wow, that was a little bit stressful to, to, f <laughs> to film and drive with Brandon's beautiful Mazda Speed 3. Uh, Brandon, how was that? Uh, third is not good for autocross. No, why? Third is for bogey west track, second is for autocross. Yeah, I actually stayed in second the whole time. I wasn't sure if I was shipped. Uh, so yeah, the, look, the first run of the track is actually slightly overwhelming because it's just I open suck. parking lot. You can't actually see an apex. Like on a track, you have a checkered red and white line to tell you there's an apex. So you're gonna know to go wide, and kind of break, and then whatever, take your turn, and like whatever line you choose to go to. However, when you're doing autocross, like it's tricky, it messes with your head, if you've never done it before. I'll totally recommend it. It's a super cheap way and safe way to push your car safely, to push yourself as a driver and kind of get a taste of motorsports because for some people going to the track is a little bit intimidating and I understand why that might be intimidating because you don't want to hurt your car, you don't want to hurt yourself, you're nervous, you might not have the skill, but this is a good, autocross is a very, very, very good intro to motorsports because you can get a taste, you get a little taste, it's really really cheap, it's really fun, you meet a lot of people, everyone here has such a good attitude, uh, no one here is trying to be better than anyone else, everyone's just trying to have a good time, get better at driving, we got all sorts of cars, there's a bone stock Toyota Prius, he's going pretty fast, you got anything from Ford Focuses, to Civics, to Camaros, I took a ride in a Chevy Nova, that thing was freaking scary because it was very, very loud, but man, any 
anything. Anything can go on this autocross. And uh, I'll take you around the track in a sec and we'll show you what's going on over there. So, over there you got start line. So, we'll follow this S2000 kind of through the track, just give you guys an idea of uh, how the track is set up. It's pretty cool, it's a pretty big lot. So, off the line, through those two cones right there. Car goes, goes, goes through the double cones around Big 360. Big 360 through the cones. Again, the two pylons mean you go through it twice. So he's going through, he's going through. Back around wide near the gates over there. We're not gonna be able to see him too well. He's taking a sharp right, and then there's a big arch in the corner over there. So we'll come a little closer just so we can follow the same car throughout the whole thing. So now, 2000's coming in from there. It's going around, these are called Corvette corners, they're pretty tricky. Around the bend, around another Corvette corner, through the lane change. Across here in Ottawa, yeah. It was a really, really well organized event. Um, very much uh, easy for the participants in the way it was structured. Uh, very easy to learn. The track was very technical, but very uh, challenging uh, in the same way that it was uh, easy to understand. Um, you know, it was uh, it was a good first experience. I uh, definitely want to come do it again. Yeah, uh, I got a lot to learn. My braking line is terrible, <laughs> but uh, you know, uh, for a good first run, it was. It, I, I think it was a pretty awesome experience, and uh, the track and the organization is really, really well laid out. Awesome, Ben. Thank you for talking to us. Uh, thank you for watching yet again another video uh, on the greasy fix. We got new slap stickers. You can slap them anywhere your hands can reach, like right here. Anywhere I want to Just be creative, you know. Just uh, don't get in trouble. Well, the first autocross <laughs> that we drove in, it was the funnest thing you could ever do. Um, like Jeremy said, it's super cheap, super affordable. They do this a few times throughout the summer. MCO Autocross was a great experience. Highly recommend it. Dirt cheap, lots of fun. It's a super supportive environment. The guys here and the girls. And the girls. There are you, women who drive cars fast. They want you to succeed. Yes. Right. It's not a competition. It's just it's a personal competition to see if you can beat yourself in racing. Fuck. <laughs> Yo, driver's license. license. You like racing? Yeah, Come here. Car. Forty-eight dollars. You can register. take your mom's Honda Civic. Do I'm it. Not kidding. There was a Prius. Just, just there was a there Prius, was a, Prius. a bone stock Prius, and he was killing it. Like he probably did. He got down like forty-eight point three. Yeah. yeah. Did he actually? Know you? Still, regardless, he was having a blast. He looked like he was having a blast. Just no minivans or SUVs. I think is the only restriction. Or motorcycles, of course, you can't do that. Other than that, anything goes. Anything with four wheels, and it, that's not falling apart. Good. You don't even. You don't even have to race. You can come here, watch the show, and anybody will let you ride in their car. Yes. Just grab a helmet and say, "Hey, can I go in your car?" And they're like, "Fuck yeah!" And you're like, "Fuck yeah!" And everybody's like, "Fuck yeah!" Yeah. So if you want to get involved in an autocross event, follow Motorsports Club of Ottawa (MCO) on Facebook, and uh, they post updates about events when they're happening, and they tell you basically how you can get involved. You 
pay online, register online through Motorsports Reg. I think, yeah, that's the one. Uh, super easy, super fun, safe, not illegal. Drive really fast. Uh, he should beat me. I think the best time today was a 46 seconds. I got a 53. I could not crack 53. Yeah, my fastest time was a 54.8. Yeah. It was uh, me and Ramsey. Yeah, that was neck and neck. We were yeah. so so basically you race within your respective class so that it's fair. Otherwise, you'd be in dead last because there's some cars here that are way better at handling than a family sedan. Mine and Keishan's car, and we all drive family cars pretty much, you know. They just have no uh, So, thank you for watching. We will see you next time.